Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, giving you another full game of uh, me breaking down. Once again, I'll be rolling with the Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going against the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Seahawks are uh, going to be a pretty good team if they can keep winning. Uh, if they get some improvement on their offensive line and get some plays out of the secondary, they've got a pretty well-stacked team. Uh, they got a lot of plays, uh, players to make some plays. And speaking of which, you're going to see some great plays uh, with my opponent utilizing uh, Wilson getting away with some stuff. So on offense, I'll be rolling with uh, basically the Eagles playbook. I have a couple formations I'll be focusing on uh, in this gameplay. And then on defense, I'll be jumping between the 43, uh, the uh, 34, and also uh, the big dime one, uh, 146. Right here, 43 blitz. Uh, basically, go ahead and set that up. I actually scoop up this guy, get him in a second and eight situation, second and nine situation. He motions his guys out. Uh, just a, a single back situation. Of base, and I go ahead and just uh, get a nice little block shed. Tack! Did no sack right there. The ball gets away. He's able to pick up a couple garbage yards right there to get a third, get a, a, a nice little play. So, third down situation, 36. I haven't showed him this uh, the set up at all. So I go to the 43 blitz. And this is just a, a pincho bl uh, blitz right here. He actually picks it up, but my defensive back, CPU play, able to go ahead and get an interception. So that was all CPU. There was there was no user going on right there. So uh, second down uh, and 10 situation. The previous play was a run play, just got stuffed to the line. I jump into this play right here, and he pretty much has everything locked up. Uh, he's got the crosser, but there's a big, deep c comeback route wide open on the back end uh, side right there. So he actually locked that up, and he, and he got me for it. So here's a formation I'll be looking at, uh, and you're, you're going to see me break down a play with it. This is going to play has got a great money route on the back end side where I can pick some good yards right here. And he clicks on inadvertently, and I'm able to go and get a nice, a one, uh, nice big one play touchdown against him. So. Uh, good situation right there. So now I go back into 43, basically do uh, just do massive coverage, and I'm able to go ahead and get a nice little uh, coverage sack against him. Get him in a second, uh, a second and twenty uh, second. He runs the ball against me. I think it was in the the big dime one four six right here once again. Going back in the big dime, I send the dogs after him. Real heavy cover, uh, cover two blitz, and basically pressure comes in. He was running around with his head cut off. He should have threw that ball away, and I'm able to go ahead and sack him down on the one. He kicks the ball back to me. So, back into this uh, this single back formation. I'm able to go ahead and pick up some pretty good yards right there. I'm showing him a, a particular look so I can get a jet sweep against him. Right here, bench, just making some adjustments. This is a very common play uh, that's been going on right here, and I inadvertently throw the ball early. Luckily, I do not get interception uh, intercepted. So little dragger right underneath. I'm able to go ahead and get a nice first down uh, with Ertz to go ahead and get the ball down to the 19-yard line. Come back to the same play again. This is a very hard play to stop. He chases a drag. I see the seam. I'm going to go ahead and take the ball, put it in the end zone with Ertz. to go up two scores, 14 to nothing. So two minutes 25 seconds left. Uh, he goes back to grinding the ball. Actually, does a little um, uh, uh, RPO situation right there. Actually, picks up pretty good yards uh, with everything to play. No huddles. I go into just basic cover coverage right here, uh, and then I think I jump into a quick blitz, and I miss my tackle right there. I actually miss my tackle. He's able to go and pick up a first down. So back to the cover two shell right here. Pressure comes in. He does not get rid of the ball. It looks like he was probably going after the flats. And then no huddles again. I love it when people get frustrated and they really don't have much of a scheme and they just no huddle. That's like it's like the only thing they can do. He comes across. He actually takes off this quarterback, and I'm able to go ahead and and, and uh, tackle him out of bounds. Get him into a third and six situation. He actually goes back to play action again, but I've got a uh, blitz dialed, uh, dialed up for him, and I'm able to go and sack him. So he punts the ball back to me again. So uh, a minute and 17 seconds left. I haven't shown him this formation at all. I'm just going to go ahead and look underneath. I think he sent uh, basically a five-man blitz. I'm able to go ahead and hit the post right over the middle, and I'm able to go ahead and take this house against him. So I'm throwing up a 21 skunk against this guy in the first half. I'm expecting him to quit out. All I have to do is just uh, go ahead and stop him. Right here, I go into a 34 defense, just cover four drop. Don't want to give up any kind of big plays. He takes off of this quarterback. So I think he no huddles. Uh, no, actually, he takes a timeout right here. Now I jump into um, <clears throat> the blitz right here. He actually gets rid of the ball. I get a nice little play. Third and one situation, I go into cover four. Then I inadvertently change my camera view. It just it happened right here. He's able to go pick up a first down. And I think he actually no huddles right here against me. And I, I fixed my camera view, but by this time, I'm a little bit discompobulated. It actually gets a couple good spins right there, and Carson's able to go ahead and take house against me. So, 
good run, uh, just bad defense, bad adjustments. I got myself a little bit uh, off kilter. So going to the second half, uh, up 21 to seven. I just need to basically one more score to go ahead and put this guy guy out. You know, with the jet sweep, I've been showing it the jet sweep to him earlier, and he I, he doesn't bite on it. So you be able to go and pick us some good guards and get a nice little angle with that. Back to the same play again. I'm going to show him the jet sweep and right here. I'm doing uh, basically some uh, underneath route. I got the crosser. He takes that away, so I decided to take off the quarterback right here because I get away from a sack. And I'm trying to I'm trying to basically uh, uh, get down, but uh, I actually took a tackle right there and, and coughed up the ball. So that's one of the bad things about running with your quarterback is that if you do not go down, if you don't uh, basically slide down, uh, you can you can give up bad play right here. So I don't know what was going on right there. He actually just got rid of the ball. Pressure was coming off the edge. He didn't have a fast read. Go back into coverage again with a cover three shell. It actually has a nice little run right here, but my defensive back's able to go ahead and tackle him. Save a game-winning touchdown right there, a game-leading a game leading touchdown. So back to a cover three. I'm actually doing uh, the Bears look, just trying to switch up my defense a little bit against him. He does a nice little spin move, totally jukes me out. My tackling is just atrocious, and I know it's atrocious as bad. I jump into a little bit more of aggressive run defense right here, and uh, he actually just basically smashes my dude and picks up some pretty good yards, even though I had him in the line of scrimmage. So back to uh, some run defense right here. I actually take one of my guys. I get caught on the defensive line, which is never a good situation. And right here, he throws right into coverage, but I get a nice, lucky uh, breakup of the, bat, uh, of the pass. So third and sixth situation, go back with the cover two blitz. He's been having a hard time with it. I'm actually going to go ahead and, and hit him down on the 31 yard line he's forced to actually kick a field goal he took a field goal in that situation instead of going for it so puts points on the board puts the pressure on me to do something with the ball so right here show him once again uh the jet sweep i'm able to go and run the ball right up the middle uh, with him i think he chose to chase after the jet sweep right there so once again showing the same type of a look go right up the middle and i'm getting some great blocking a look at this play right here uh, Howard's off to the races. I'm down to the 15, down to the 20, and to the 15-yard line right here. And basically, he actually gets me right there. So he bunches up his line. He's trying to protect against from the inside run. So I just take it to, a little bit to the outside. I'm able to go pick up some pretty good yards right there. Another five-yard gainer. And right now, it's time for me to do the RPO. And I just take a look off the left. Nobody goes out there. I'm going to go and drop it down. Alphon Jeffries holds his block, and Jackson's able to go and take the ball into the red zone to go up 28 to 10. So we're going into the third quarter, uh, going into the fourth quarter right here. He actually tries to run the ball against me. I'm going to get a nice little block jet. So fourth quarter right here, I'm going to go with just outright coverage. Spy, I uh, actually put my guys in a QB contain, and I get some great defensive line um, uh, action going on there with my line. Uh, my defensive backs did not come down quick enough. He quick hiked me, so those guys got out of position. And there was no pressure against him, so he was able to get that ball off in the seams. So go ahead and show him the same look again, but this time I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, zones in the middle of the field. I think I protect the sticks right here. He motions this guy out once again. Then I think I go into cover two. And I've got some uh, got some guys out there, but he actually throws right into a cloud flat, um, which was just a bad read by him. He's actually he's not not making good reads. And right here, I almost come up with an interception in a, in a second and ten situation. So uh, third down situation, I've got defensive backs to go and, and take him. He actually made the right play running the ball against that 43 defense. So once again, I show him the same type of look, and the pressure comes off the edge. I sack him. And that is it. Basically, it's Asa La Vista. This guy doesn't want to play anymore. So, once again, I'm a subscriber. Thank you for your support, guys. I'll be rolling out more gameplay tips and strategies to take your game to the next level. Until next time.